everybody, my name is Sarah Jo. This week, I'm co-hosting music lessons with Carlos. See you! Welcome, everybody, to another music lesson webinar with Carlos. Today, we will cover different topics such as ear training, contemporary piano styles, improvisation, music theory, chord progressions, and jazz voicings. We also have some new piano tutorials, so stay tuned and let's get started. And thank you, thank you, Sarah Joe, for this uh, video. Yeah, great video. Uh, F minor uh, phrases workout. Actually, I would like to see it again. It has a lot of uh, very nice phrases, as we say. Okay, yeah, why don't we check it out again? Yeah, so. Actually, I really like what uh, Sarah Jo is doing. Oops, let me get myself up here. Okay, that's good, you know. She is... Um, she has some, 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 she, she's act, actually, yeah. Yeah. She has, she's doing ones in two five ones. Yeah, and then uh, a, a working with a, a, a blue scale, yeah, more like a, and also, you know, just a, a chord scale a based, uh, a chord scale based a, a phrases. Okay, very nice, very nice, Sarah Joe. Thank you so much for this video. I want to see it again. I want to, I want to learn. I'm going to be playing along.
thank you. Thank you, Sarah Joe, for this wonderful tutorial of riffs and licks and F minor. So we are going to actually, I want to emphasize solfege movable, though solfege and scales today. Why don't we start it? Actually, we're going to do a lot of things today. First, yeah, I'm going to do a review of chromatic scales in B flat. Let me boost up the volume. Think. I think we're all set. Oops, maybe a little bit too much. Okay. So, movable dough. Yeah, um, many of my students have uh, derived enormous amount of benefit, myself, of course, included. I, I started working with uh, fixed dough many years ago when I was in the National Conservatory back in Lima. Yeah, and then when I went to Berkeley, everything changed, movable dough, and it was like, wow, an explosion for me. Yeah, because now I had a system, yeah, that uh, can... Uh, help me see where I am. Do, de, re, re, mi, pa, fi, sol, si, la, li, Very nice. Yeah, it helps me. It helps me organize everything. Yeah, so we're gonna do we're gonna do B flat today. Today is B flat day. So first, uh, left hand is just gonna play the root, this pedal, and then we're gonna just uh, sing the melody up and down. Do, di, re, re, mi, fa, fi, sol, si, la, li. Descending. Do, ti, te, la, le, so, se, fa, mi, me, re, ra, do. Okay. And now we're going to do the same. We are going to do the same, but in B flat. Well, no, in bass clef, bass clef, we're in B flat, bass clef. So right hand is going to play a triad, and we're going to do our um, bass line, and here we go. Do, di, re, re, mi, fa, fi, so, si, la, li, ti, do. Descending. Do, ti, te, la, le, so. Se fa mi me re ra do. Okay, <clears throat> now, now we're gonna take it to another level. Now, and let me change my keyboard here. Okay, that's much better. Okay, so we're still in the key of B flat. But now we're going to do some uh, cr a chromatic approaches on every note, both a chromatic ascending and descending. Yes, approach notes of the chromatic scale. Yeah, so this is quite a trip. So let's go very slowly. Yeah, so we have here, if, if we go on the second beat, we have actually the chromatic ascending scale. Do, Di, Re, Ri, Mi. Fa, Fi, Sol, Si, La, Li, Ti, Do. But then we have a chromatic approach on each note. So here we go. Ra, Ti, Do, Re, Do, Ti, Mi, Di, Re, Mi, Re, Ri, Fa, Ri, Mi, Se, Si, 
Okay. And now we're going to go descending. Descending, descending. So if you, again, look at the second beat, we have the descending chromatic notes on B flat. Do, di, te, la, le, so, se, pa, mi, me, re, ra, do. And we're going to have a chromatic approach note, target note, all the chromatic descending notes in B flat. Follow me. Ra, ti, do, do, li, ti, ti, la, te, te, si, la, la, This is a, a bit more advanced, yeah, but uh, even we can actually play, you know, if you're a guitar player, piano player, you can start harmonizing the target note. Ra, ti, do, do, li, ti, ti, la, te, te, si, la, la, sol, le. you can play yeah um, you you can play reharmonizing yeah working with your reharmonization on the melody on all the chromatic scales it's a lot of fun to do okay so now that we work warmed up with our chromatic scale chromatic scale and chromatic approach notes in B flat today is B flat day what are we gonna do next Whoops, no, that's not it. This is it. We're going to do a bebop blues in B flat also. Okay. We're going to sing the bass. Okay. You know what? I have here, I have something here. We're going to sing the bass. Oops, maybe we can go a bit faster. I'm gonna sing the bass, we're gonna play the bass. One, two, three, and go. Now we're gonna do the same, but we're gonna play. We're gonna play voicing. Now we're gonna play voicing with the with the right hand. Yeah, and if you're a guitar player, you're gonna play your chords, but you're gonna sing the bass. Actually, that's a bit trickier. Yeah, but very beneficial. So here we go. We're gonna sing the bass. One, two, three, and do. Ba, ba, ba. Around. 
Okay, very nice, very nice. Yeah, we worked with our base. Base, um, the base motion, not the bass line. Okay, now, here comes the fun part. We're gonna uh, sing all the chord tones of the chord progression. Ascending, here we go. I'm just, I'm just gonna play a single note with the left hand. Do mi sol te fa la do me do mi sol te to five. Sol te re fa do mi sol te fa la do me sharp for diminished. Fi la do me back to one. Do mi sol te to five of two. Mi so te re la di me so re fa la do so ti re fa turn around do mi so te la di me so re fa la do so ti re fa do let's do it again yeah let's do it again we can add a kind of a bass line three and do mi so te fa la do Turn around. Do mi sol te la di me sol te fa la do sol te re fa do. This is actually a nice, nice, nice workout to do. Okay, so now why don't we play? Let's do the same, but with the band. With the band, yeah. I'm gonna play maybe up here. One, two, and we have to sing. We have to sing. Do mi sol te. This is a nice workout. Should we do it faster? I shouldn't do it faster, but I want to do it anyways. Okay, so here we go. Two, three, and... Okay, have fun, have fun, have fun. We're gonna have fun with this. Actually, we should do the all different songs, you know. So sol sol fa me re do, te le sol fa fa me re do ti le sol fa me me re do. Oops, me re do te le se se fa te fa le 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 sol te le le sol te le. Yeah, we should do this and then change keys, go through all different, different keys because we are using movable dough. That's going to help us to transpose. Yeah. When I was saying back, back, man, I was maybe 14 years old <laughs> in those days. I was back in the National Conservatory and I was dreading my, my uh, solfege class because I, then I had to use uh, a C clef clave de do in all different staffs in order to transpose okay with movable though we don't need to do that but we need to be able to see the do shifting from key to key which is what we do when we uh when we start the class 
Okay. Good, good, good. What should we do now? Okay, I started with some 251s. I started with some 251s here. And let me get my band. Aaron, welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so you're you're right when we are working with our 251s. And 251s, but on the a second variation yeah so uh, i think last week we did the first variation okay so let me get my let me get my um uh band i don't want to play swing i want to do a nice bolero okay so okay what is the pattern this is a left hand practice only. Don't use your don't use the right hand for this. Okay, let me do some changes here. Okay, good. So we're gonna do our two five one. The practice is we have the root and the flat three, the five and the flat seven going to the root and the three. If you wanna use solfege, re fa sol fa do mi. Okay, here we go. Let's do a nice bolero. Two, three, and two, five, one. Now Q of F. Maybe we can go here down. Yes, we can because it's, it's a two note voicing. Two, five, one, and B flat again. Now E flat, two, one. Okay, two, five, one, and A flat. Now see we're going down and register. D flat. because I was watching uh, Aaron's message. <laughs> I'm blaming him. Okay. Um, yes, I've written about uh, pentatonic scales. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'm going to bring them next class. Yeah, this is actually a, a fun. Yeah, we can use pentatonic scales melodically. Yeah. Um, and we can use them uh, also harmonically. Yeah, to create. I think like a couple months ago, yeah, I was uh, working with uh, some harmonic uh, bass chord progressions that are used in uh, gospel piano using pretty much pentatonic scales, yeah, to build all the voicings. Yeah, so I'm going to bring them up. Yeah, I'm going to bring them next week. Next week. Okay, so now I want to go, I want to use that left hand pattern. Left hand pattern that we did, but not okay. Let me go back. Whoops. 
Okay, and what we're gonna do is let me change. Um, I have something that I want to do. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I want to do something else. Whoops. I want to do this. Okay. Last week we did six keys. Yeah, today we're going to do the other six keys. And let me get my band ready. Hmm. Um, Aaron. Uh, okay, Aaron is asking me about my pentatonic book. I think so, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it is actually the book that I wrote is a book for melodic development using pentatonic scales. Yeah, so you have the pentatonic scales, a major pentatonic. Yeah. You have a minor pentatonic or a pentatonic flat three, flat three. This is the way I'm organizing them. Yeah, you have a pentatonic flat two, flat three. You have a pentatonic flat two, flat three, flat five. You have a pentatonic flat two, flat three, flat five, flat six. And then you have also, oh, yeah, all sort of patterns, all sort of patterns on those, yeah. Um, I don't know if I have it on my store, yeah, but uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it there if I, if I don't have it. Yeah, this is actually, if you are more, uh, I would say, uh, uh, more advanced in your musicianship and you can actually work just with the patterns and then do your own homework, applying them to different uh, uh, chord and scale pairing and even chord progressions, that's perfect. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna actually uh, take that book and I'm gonna develop it. I'm gonna apply it, yeah, uh, uh, re uh, writing things out, of course, then that's gonna be a, like an encyclopedia, <laughs> yeah? But I think this, this is a good book because if you're willing to do your homework, yeah, you're going to uh, get a lot of benefit out of it. Okay, good, so now we have this pattern. Again, we have a mi fa la do la do mi sol la sol mi ti re do ti la sol. And we're gonna practice here. Yeah, let's let's work. We're still in bolero bolero mode. Two, three, and. We can do this fingering starting with the thumb. Yeah, that's that would be okay as long as I arrive here to the five. I don't think maybe we can do a thumb turn, but why? Maybe. Yeah, that would be one fingering choice with thumb turns. And then I have four or five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, so that would be one choice. I like you know, maybe an alternative fingering. Five, four, two, one, four, three, two, one, three. Okay, good. Yeah, and now we're gonna go to another key. We're gonna go to the key of D. And we have mi, fa, la, do, la, do, mi, sol, la, sol, mi, ti, re, do, ti, la, sol. To me, just working with a, a solfege, it just helps me, yeah, to internalize the the 
court uh, and skill relation the court and skill relationship and the meaning of each note harmonically. So here we go. Mi, fa, la, do, la, do, so, la, so, mi, ti, re, do, ti, la, so, and we are going to practice now with our band. You know what? I want to change groove. Yeah, let's change groove. And let me go here too. Okay, this is it. Two. One, two, three, and... to another key. Let's go to another key. And um, key of A. Favorite key for guitar players. Mi fa la do la do mi sol la sol mi ti re do ti la sol. Okay. Yeah, there, yeah, definitely, we need the thumb turn there. Mi, fa, la, do, another thumb turn. La, do, mi, sol, la, sol, mi, ti, re, do, ti, la, sol. I think that works. That works. And we are going to start here. Okay, let me get my band. Okay, so now we're going to change groove again. Let's go to a bolsa groove. Two, three, and... Yeah, I want to change. I want to do six keys today. So we're in the key of E now. Another favorite key for guitar players. And what should we do? Let's go back to our bolero groove. Let me change my key. Key of E. Okay. So, two, five, one. Key of E. Two, five, one. Mi fa la do la do mi sol la sol mi ti re do ti la sol. Again, mi fa la do la do mi sol la sol mi ti re do ti la sol. Okay, now we're gonna practice with. Okay, so let's definitely we need the thumb turn, yeah. Okay, maybe three one. And another thumb, thumb turn. Two, one, five. Yeah, that actually flows. Flows with my technique. Okay. One, two, three, and. Okay, and 
Let's go to the key of B, and that's going to be the last key of the day for this workout because we did G flat F sharp, yeah, last week. Okay, now I want to change groove again. Okay, one moment. Key of B. Where is my key of B? Okay, two. Five, one. See now, because we are kind of a middle register, instead of going root three, I'm gonna go flat seven three with my left hand and going to root major seven. Two, five, one. And then we have mi, fa, la, do, la, do, mi, sol, la, sol, mi, ti, re, do, ti, la, sol. Now let's do it again. Mi, fa, la, do, la, mi, oh, oops. Mi, fa, la, do, la, do, mi, sol, la, sol, mi, ti, re, do, ti, la, sol. And let's play. One, two, three, and... Yeah, that was it for this uh, this riff. Yeah, maybe next week. Actually, next week I want to do something different. Yeah, I want to take this riff. Yeah, we had it. How about if we if if, if we take it to a minor a minor to five? Maybe or. Something like that, yeah, kind of belevenish in its uh, structure, yeah. So uh, we can we can work with that one, yeah, in in different keys. Okay, good. What should we do? We are almost almost out of time for today. And but I wanted to do this. Okay, left hand, tricky, yeah, we have to, <laughs> we have to get um, used to, yeah, one moment, let me get, let me get my band here, okay, perfect, we're going to start slow, yeah, let's start in 132, 132, one, two, three, and... Not bad, not bad. And you know, I was kind of starting slow so we can kind of get the right feeling. Yeah. And now we're going to go to the same pattern, but in three, two clave. Yeah. So it's more, it's a tricky, at least for me, it was for many years. Ba, uh, um. One, two, three, four, one, and uh, um. It's just a, a, the beginning is a tricky part. One, two, three, four, one, and uh, uh. Again, one, two, three, four, one. Now, we're going to play with our band slowly.
Now I want to go back. I want to go back to my 3-2. Three, 3-2 two. Three, two Montuno pattern, but how about if let's move on to 148? That actually would be nice. Yeah? So let's always keep our wrists yeah, open. Next week, next week, you know what? I want to talk a little bit about piano technique. Um, I was uh, looking at the web and then uh, I found my teacher, Stephanie Tiernan. She's now the head of the piano department at Berkeley. Is a piano chair emeritus, yeah, because of all the, her life work. She was a student of the famous Madame Shaloff in... And Madame Shaloff was a teacher of, you know, they say even Keith Jarrett and Chick and so many people study with Madame Shaloff. I think the longest student of studying with her was uh, Stephanie Tiernan, who is an amazing pianist and now so well deserved. Well, for many years, she's been the head of the piano department, chair of the piano, and now chair emeritus yeah, at Berkeley. <coughs> so, and she wrote a wonderful book about piano technique. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna feature feature it. And uh, she goes and applies a, a, the technique that uh, that uh, the the work. She continues with the work of Madame Shaloff and applies it to jazz, to blues, to pop, to new age, and to salsa. Yeah, I think she. <laughs> So, anyways, maybe that's the bad influence of her student. Yeah, I studied with Stephanie for some for many years, yeah, and uh, I learned so much, and I'm so grateful, so grateful. I almost call it the yoga of piano, yeah, because it taught me about. Uh, uh, well, now we have all those very fancy terms like somatic mindfulness. We didn't have those terms in those days, which is type of attentional training dedicated to all the data, to all the information that arises through your physical body from moment to moment. Yeah, and this is a wonderful uh, uh, place to put and train our attention when we play. It just self-corrects the whole mechanism. Yeah, yeah, which, uh, which I really like. Okay. I'm talking too much and I'm not playing. Okay, so, but next week, next week, I, I want to start working with some very simple, very simple technical parts, yeah? If actually, if, if you read the book by Kenny Werner, Effortless Mastery, yeah? Kenny Werner's teacher was Madame Shaloff and he had the drop, yeah? The one note drop that actually had a lot to do with that, the attentional training towards one note in the physical aspect of the hand, which is going to just play that note. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three. And Okay, good. Now we're going to do the same in 3 to clave. 3 to clave. Let me change here the speed to 148 beats per minute. Yeah, let's let's check just the beginning. 1 2 3 4. Again, 1 2 3 and 1. Last time, 1 2 3 4. Ba, e, o, ba, e. Okay, here we go. We're going to practice. One, two, three, and... Now, let's go back to, let's go back to uh, three to clave, but now we're going to play kind of a medium speed salsa. 
that would be kind of 164, 165. Okay, so here we go, here we go. Okay, now we're going to do the same. We're going to do the same in uh, 3, 2, clave and 164. Okay, so again, that beginning is tricky. 1, 2, 3, and... Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, and... Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, and... Okay, by the way, I'm kind of playing the bass. You can see is I'm kind of playing short, you know, uh, short notes here and there because I'm kind of feeling a baby bass, yeah, a nylon bass, yeah, and the nylon bass has a very short uh, attack, a, a very a hard attack and then a short decay, even though the bass player is going to play pretty much exactly as it is written, but the sound, yeah, the contour of the envelope, yeah, is going to give the impression yeah that actually he's playing short notes even though he's just playing you know probably what is exactly what is here so here we go here we go Okay, okay, good. So that was fun. At least it was a lot of fun for me. And um, I'm going to see everybody. Then I'm going to continue uh, next week, next Sunday, same time, 7 p.m. Los Angeles time. So if you're available, if you have that free time, it would be wonderful to practice together. If not, I'm always up, uh, uploading this uh, video to my channel in uh, YouTube so you can actually uh, pra you know watch it there you know and just practice along so have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time thank you for being with me in this live broadcast we covered a lot of material and we're gonna continue to do so in our next class I'll see you next week, same time, same channel. Until then, have a wonderful week. Practice your instrument every day. Listen and play lots of good music. See you next week. <laughs>